uh, through to the final safely, controlled that, that race, how did you feel out there? Um, feeling pretty good, I mean, given the conditions, it's like, it feels like 100 degrees out here, and I'm used to a little heat, but nothing on that magnitude, so I'd say pretty good considering uh, the conditions, but other than that, just a kind of slow, tactical, championship style race, so. is and then every race is a stepping stone up to that next level and I think I've progressed pretty well and then Friday we'll see what I can finish off with. Is it too hot to run 3,000 meters? I mean, is it, was it like, I've, in, in the first here, maybe drop it on your heat, not too much, but in the field, it's really hard. Yeah, I mean, usually in the heat, once you get in the race, the race just feels hard, yeah. but today you can really feel the heat, I think, and I'm sure it got to some people. I don't know how it couldn't, but uh, as you can see, the races weren't that quick on those time qualifying spots, and I think the guy in, who qualified seven in the first game was 54, so I think that could be wrong, but I expect something a little quicker than that. Who's the guy you think of? Uh, obviously, I can't go without saying him. He's a defending champion, and then all the BYU guys are tough, and uh, they really know how to get in there when it counts, and then there's a bunch of guys I've never raced to. Stephen Fahey, uh, I'm saying that right, from Stanford, and then some of those East Coast guys who I've just never been at a head-to-head race with. So it'll be exciting to see what uh, comes down in the final in a couple days. Do you think it'll be fast? Um, I hope so. But um, will you take the face on? Um, we'll have to see. See how the race goes out, and uh, 3,000 meters is still enough to kind of feel it out. Let whatever happens happens, and be there at the right time. But you never know. Have you done much racing on like these exterior pits here? Uh, high school, yeah, yeah. twice maybe. But, does it feel weird? Yeah, it does feel weird. I'm a fan of the inside pit. Just more familiar. Yeah. It's what I practice on. So. Why do you think you improved so much this year? The year uh, I think just consistency over the years. Um, I was injured last year, so I never ran outdoor season. But I think just putting in those miles, being consistent, uh, checking off all the little boxes, getting enough rest, keeping the nutrition in check, it all just uh, adds up to um, fast races for me. So I'll keep doing what I'm doing. Did you think coming into the season you'd be able to run a great uh, I thought 836, 837 was a realistic goal given the performance I had over the indoor season. So I've certainly exceeded that in my own expectations. Uh, not sure yet. I uh, still have to talk down with Coach. We were kind of like, let's get through uh, the NCAA season. And I'm going to the... in Italy in early July, so we're just going to have to see how it comes along.